After two years of research and development, Tesla's humanoid robot is getting closer to humanity than ever. The sales figures for the initial versions could revolutionize the technology market, with a declaration of the goal to produce 1 million Optimus units by 2025. Musk plans to overcome production barriers that have the world in awe. Additionally, the advancement of AI fuels ambitious ideas about the development of Figure AI's humanoid robot, as they recently announced a list of investments in what's considered their superior technology. So, how will Elon Musk deal with these challenges? Is the technology of competitors worth Tesla's attention? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Modeled after the human form, capable of walking on two legs and designed for manual labor, Figure's humanoid robot is currently relying on real-life human input. With millions of job vacancies in the US, Figure's humanoid robot is designed to perform tasks that people may not want to do or lack the skills for. It's envisioned to tackle more advanced tasks such as caring for the elderly or even cooking. This sounds very familiar. In 2021, Elon Musk shocked the world by revealing plans to build an AI-based humanoid robot. Initially, skepticism prevailed, fueled by the sight of a dancer disguised as a humanoid robot performing on stage. However, when the Tesla bot Bumblebee made its debut, it became evident that Elon Musk's promise held true. Returning to figure AI's humanoid robot, the prototype they're developing bears a striking resemblance to the earlier version of the Tesla bot, with a skeletal structure and traditional rigid movements. It seems they have successfully raised a substantial $675 million in funding from OpenAI and Microsoft, alongside Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. This funding has valued Figure, the creator of the humanoid robot, at $2 billion. It appears that startup companies in the humanoid robot manufacturing are creating something akin to the first generation of the Tesla bot. An intriguing aspect of Figure AI is that none of the company's founders had an engineering background. Notably, Brett Adcock, one of the founders of Figure AI, previously founded Archer Aviation, a space aviation company manufacturing electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to improve urban mobility. Brett successfully built Archer into a leading global electric aviation company, raising over $1 billion in capital, taking Archer public on the New York Stock Exchange with a valuation of $2.7 billion and securing a billion and a half dollar commercial deal with United Airlines. However, ultimately, they did not deliver any products to their partners, casting doubts on the notable investments made by tech companies such as OpenAI, Microsoft, and NVIDIA, who seem to be repeating a noteworthy past. Furthermore, when discussing Figure AI's platform, we can't pinpoint where their AI stands in its developmental journey. Meanwhile, don't forget that Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer with over 5 million electric cars on the roads, all integrated with AI for real-world operational data collection. They have 25,000 NVIDIA GPUs supporting their AI system, specifically the Dojo system, a supercomputer with 1.8 exaflop of power used for training autonomous driving systems and artificial intelligence models. Tesla invested over $500 million to build their supercomputer in Buffalo. So with a $675 million investment in figure, it may not be sufficient to empower them to develop artificial intelligence. The deal has yet to be finalized, which means their plans might face failure. If you consider OpenAI as an AGI, I think that's correct. It's not a form of AGI in the real world, so you can't simply put it into a robot for the robot to navigate and understand the real world. This is the biggest and most challenging issue in robot manufacturing, which is why Tesla can confidently take on this risk. Robots need to integrate input from all senses in 4D, model their environment and how they fit into it, determine the goals they want to achieve, make decisions on how to move towards those goals, plan movements, and interact with humans and objects. Then, they send commands to the motor control system to determine how to move the drive system to control the robot and move the limbs to interact with objects in their space, preferably with human-like movements to make it interesting to watch and not receive the uncanny valley animation effect. This sequence of motion planning must be continuously updated in a loop as the robot moves because humans and objects can move, and it has to adapt. This is difficult, really difficult, which is why we don't see many humanoid robots running around, even within the premises of other well-known tech companies with billions of dollars to develop. The progress in the field of artificial general intelligence, or AGI, combined with advancements in robotics has posed a teasing question. 
how close are we to creating fully functional AGI companions embodied in human-like robots? To adequately address this interdisciplinary question, one must dissect the current landscape of both AGI and robots, examining technical, computational, and algorithmic aspects. Starting with AGI, there has been considerable development, yet it remains constrained to narrow AI or narrow artificial intelligence. These are algorithms optimized for specific tasks, such as image recognition or language translation. On the other hand, AGI aspires to possess a human-like flexibility, with the ability to learn, reason, and apply knowledge across different domains. While machine learning methods, especially deep learning, have shown significant strides, achieving true AGI that creates a machine capable of understanding, learning, and applying knowledge across diverse fields seems elusive for most companies, including Figure AI. Tesla, with its deep development roadmap and millions of vehicles collecting data for AI training, appears to be well-positioned to accomplish this ambitious task. How groundbreaking is Tesla Optimus when compared to the FigureBot? The latest revelations from Tesla provide a glimpse into the movements of Optimus within the laboratory, showcasing its flexibility steps before transitioning to a prototype FigureBot. Optimus indeed exhibits significantly longer strides than Figure, with a visible distance of over half a foot, while FigureBot has consecutive steps that don't quite capture a truly natural movement. In fact, Optimus can move at a speed of 0.6 meters per second, a remarkable improvement after Tesla announced a 30% speed enhancement for Optimus. Each time the robot's foot touches the ground, there's an impact force. Stiffness increases proportionally with the straightness of the knee, causing vibrations to transmit to the joints, making the robot's movement less natural. Humans don't face this issue as we have ligaments between bone joints that can dampen shocks upon surface contact. Tesla's almost solved this through three major updates. Initially, the Bumblebee version had unnatural steps, and in the first update, Tesla demonstrated addressing this issue by improving internally produced drivetrain components, eliminating the need for external component suppliers. Tesla claims a much improved balance with significantly enhanced whole body control, allowing it to perform a squat easily. The drivetrain converts input signals into the actual force needed to move anything from the robot's foot to the delicate movement of its fingers. In fact, the fingers' movements are so smooth that Optimus developers felt compelled to confirm that the video is not CGI and has not been accelerated, even in scenes where Optimus is moving around Tesla's lab. As for Figure AI Bot, the company's made a stunning announcement of its ability to move at 1.6 meters per second leaving us in awe and somewhat skeptical when observing the provided daily walking footage. Such a high-speed capability seems entirely implausible. In addition, the Tesla bot's equipped with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery housed in its truck, providing enough power for a full day of work on a single charge with an optimized compact design. Meanwhile, Figure AI is still in prototype stage with a frame and battery that they claim can operate for only around five hours, a significant consideration for humanoid robots intending to work in factories or assist humans. The low battery life may require it to be tethered to a power source when energy runs low, posing a challenge to completing tasks. Furthermore, Optimus is equipped with pressure sensors on its fingers, allowing it to sense anything it's holding, even delicate and fragile items like the thin-shelled chicken egg or easily pierced with a needle. This practical functionality sets Tesla Optimus apart, the Tesla bot features a screen on its face displaying information, potentially serving as a substitute for verbal communication. However, akin to a Tesla car, instead of eyes, it has eight autopilot cameras used to understand the surrounding environment. Its chest houses a full self-driving computer, providing power for all robot movements, including Wi-Fi and LTE capabilities. In contrast, Figure AI does not provide any data on the degree of freedom in arm joints, making it challenging to make a specific comparison regarding the technological breakthrough. Even in terms of pricing, the company plans to offer its robot service through subscription-based contracts. This model aims to make the robot more affordable compared to outright purchase, but specific details about the exact cost remain unknown. Essentially, the more contracts, the cheaper it becomes. Therefore, personalization for this robot technology will be affected and if you wish to own it in the future, you'll need to buy it through a vendor contracted with Figure AI. The pricing aspect still seems uncertain. Meanwhile, Tesla Bot is expected to be priced under $20,000 when production achieves outstanding efficiency, at least for the initial model. A robot capable of performing any task, even mundane ones, is likely to come with a hefty price tag.
Depending on the chosen model, I can see this fluctuating a bit, perhaps even rental options. However, this won't happen when Tesla starts selling Optimus, much like the Cybertruck or any of the company's electric vehicles when initially launched. The prices will have a high differential at the beginning and then gradually decrease. Perhaps in less than a decade, people will be able to buy a robot as a birthday gift for their parents. However, it is expected to be publicly available sooner, around 2025. Although both the Tesla bot and Figure AI bot are considered relatively affordable humanoid robots, specific details regarding cost and availability are still to be confirmed. The Tesla bot is expected to be priced under $20,000 and available from 2025 to 2027, while Figure AI bot is expected to be offered through subscription-based contracts with no specific cost or availability timeline provided. Why did OpenAI choose to invest in Figure Robot? Microsoft and OpenAI are currently in negotiations to acquire a financial stake in a startup specializing in humanoid robot manufacturing. The prospect envisions a future where robots are capable of performing dangerous tasks unsafe for humans. Bloomberg initially reported on the potential investment, which could see up to $500 million raised from various investors. This would value the startup at around $1.9 billion or higher, depending on the final amount raised. The deal is not finalized, and no one involved has confirmed its occurrence, according to reports from anonymous sources close to the plan. This investment move reflects a logical step for OpenAI, which has long been exploring ideas related to robots and large language models. Additionally, Google Bard and Gemini are demonstrating competitive performance with ChatGPT in the popular chatbot arena, ranking second on the leadership after GPT-4 Turbo, OpenAI's most advanced model. Supported by the latest update of the Gemini Pro Artificial Intelligence model, BARD has seen a significant improvement in performance since its release in December. This has prompted OpenAI to quickly explore new avenues, combining AI with humanoid robots. Earlier, they had intentions to acquire Figure AI, but it was unsuccessful, so the best approach might be to invest in it. Although it doesn't necessarily mean there will be robots with ChatGPT in their brains, the concept of using large language models like GPT-4 to power ChatGPT as a control mechanism for robots is not entirely new. Altman also revealed that the company once had a robotics division, but they prefer to focus on intelligence first. They believe mastering intelligence and perception is a priority before adapting to physical forms. Once robots gain the ability to think for themselves, and if hardware improves enough to harness this intellectual capability, they could quickly transform the job market, especially in manual labor fields. The initial prediction for AI was that it would take on those manual labor tasks first, automating repetitive tasks and making humans feel estranged. In reality, things seem to be unfolding differently than what people first thought 10 years ago, when everyone believed it'd just be blue-collar jobs first, then white-collar jobs, and it would never impact creative roles. However, recently, OpenAI introduced Sora, capable of replacing the creative roles of artists and filmmakers. This scenario parallels what happened with Elon Musk since he founded OpenAI with a nonprofit declaration. Due to disagreements in the mission, Musk decided to leave OpenAI and Sam Altman seems to have transformed it into a for-profit company. This has led to Elon Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI for abandoning the mission of benefiting humanity. Musk alleges that OpenAI's collaboration with Microsoft has turned the organization into a de facto subsidiary of Microsoft, focusing on maximizing profits. The lawsuit aims to compel OpenAI to adhere to the founding agreement and return to the mission of developing AGI for the benefit of humanity, rather than serve in the interest of Altman, Brockman, and Microsoft. Musk criticized the potential risk that AI progress could pose to society even before co-founding OpenAI, calling for protective measures to prevent such systems from being used to replace humans. Furthermore, it appears that investors perceive Tesla as a threat to their developments in the technology sector. Hence, they felt the need to invest in similar figure AI or any humanoid robot technology company to disrupt Tesla. Similar to OpenAI's future plans to implement AI into machines and create their humanoid robot, each company has its own narrative. For most companies, designing their own chip is an extremely challenging task. However, Tesla, one of the world's largest developers of autonomous vehicle technology, deems it a worthwhile investment. At the Hot Chips conference, Elon Musk shared the secrets behind the advanced AI chip design of the company, stating that only two chips are intelligent enough to enable fully autonomous driving for the upcoming Tesla model. Chip designers demonstrated a significant optimization level on Tesla's custom AI chips, leading to a substantial performance increase, 21 times more than previous NVIDIA chips. Moreover, Tesla's chip production costs are 20% lower than NVIDIA's. 
Each of Tesla's AI chips run at a speed of 2 GHz and perform at 36 trillion operations per second. NVIDIA continues to be the chip supplier for Tesla, and must previously mention that Tesla was using too many of NVIDIA's chips to power its self-driving vehicle training systems, causing the chip manufacturer to struggle to meet their demand. This prompted Tesla to build its own supercomputer, and NVIDIA needs additional customers to consume their technology. What will have a greater impact on humanity in the future? The emergence of full self-driving in Tesla but could have significant financial and production implications for Tesla. The widespread deployment of FSD and its broad application would lead to a substantial increase in revenue, with Tesla recognizing delayed revenue for its autonomous driving features. The long-term financial impact would become more pronounced as the efficiency gained from FSD results in higher production volumes and increased profitability. Similarly, the implementation and utilization of TeslaBot across various industries would contribute to Tesla's development. The revenue potential from selling or leasing TeslaBots could be substantial, with each unit serving as an income-generating asset for the company. Scaling up the production of TeslaBot combined with the integration of automation and Tesla's factories would further enhance manufacturing capabilities and drive profits. With the latest version of Figure AI, we can observe a clear copycat version so it seems unlikely to be a formidable competitor, capable of surpassing Optimus unless equipped with Tesla's FSD or possessing millions of pre-existing training units. Finally, what new innovations do you hope for Optimus in 2024? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.